Hi, my name is Imanga from BioF Solutions. And at BioF, we're aiming to transform the way your food is produced. Nitrogen is the main nutrient limiting plant growth. So farmers are regularly applying it in the form of fertilizers to sustain crop productivity. Yet their production consumes 2% of global fossil fuels and also generates 2% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions. And once applied, up to 70% is lost to the environment. This is a huge loss for the farmer because they have to sacrifice up to 50% of their own land in order to allow the soil to build back its fertility. So at BioF, we're developing biofertilizers based on algae isolated from UK farmers' soils. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, algae grow using carbon dioxide and sunlight and can capture atmospheric nitrogen and slowly release it along with other nutrients to the crops. In short, we're producing a nutrient-rich package for plants that continuously supplies nitrogen and improves the soil health. Our ultimate goal is to grow these organisms on the nitrogen and and the nitrogen and phosphorus in, in wastewater from the food industries, thereby directly contributing to a circular nutrient economy. In our lab at Imperial College London, we have been growing our product at a small scale in different systems. And um, we've also trialed the product out on wheat, tomatoes, and arugula. And our first results obtained showed that our technology works. We hit a three time increase in wheat biomass. And when we also tested our product out on arugula, which is a high value vegetable crop, um, we obtained a 33% increase in yield when compared to compost and a 13% increase in yield when compared to a complete inorganic fertilizer. So with this, our unique proposition for the organic farmer includes higher yields, no changes to the current fertilization practices, a minimized nutrient loss into the environment. And finally, we will comply with organic standards, allowing us to tap into both organic and non-organic markets. We plan to target the UK organic market first, however, because we feel organic farmers are desperate to find an efficient fertilizing solution. And we also share the same philosophy with them in terms of sustainability. And the organic market has been growing continuously. So thanks to the Imperial um, Tech Accelerate program, which I was a part of, I was able to speak to key players along the fertilizer supply chain, including several organic farmers who confirmed a need for our product. We've also built a strong relationship with Abel & Co, a UK organic food retailer, giving us access to more than 150 farms to carry out our field trials. So our core activity is R&D to develop a portfolio of biofertilizers over time with both generic and premium formulations, and we'll produce and sell directly to organic farmers, as well as to manufacturers and distributors in order to expand our sales. And we've been contacted by ICL Fertilizers and Yara, two of the world's largest fertilizer companies, as they recognize the value and uniqueness of our product. Uh, these companies could also help us unlock the conventional markets in the long term with the IP that we are currently developing. And then we'll then enter the European market as it's forecasted to become the world's largest market for organic fertilizers. Regarding our competitors, we can divide them into two categories. So the organic products and management practices used by farmers and the new biologicals, meaning products based on microorganisms that are being developed by um, big players in the field, such as Azotic, Bayer and Novozymes. And we differ from the first category by providing more than two times more nitrogen, and which is readily available. And from the second category, we also differ from them by targeting multiple crops, improving the soil structure, and also by being GMO free. We're currently spinning out of Imperial College London, and we've assembled a multidisciplinary team uh, cons consisting of the academic founders as the core team, with Maureen as CEO, myself as head of commercial operations, and Patrick as the head of R&D. We are also assisted by experts in algae production, business, and marketing. And to complement our skill set, we've brought on board business advisors from Imperial and Peter, who's an agronomist from Abel & Co, who's working with more than 150 farms. 
We've also been awarded a range of prizes that have been essential to catalyze our business and allowed us to develop our proof of concept as well as to start um, conversations with the big players in the field. Moving forward, over the next two years, we plan to scale up our current production facility before carrying out field trials next year with the aim of starting commercial operations in 2022. So we hope that um, with the support of additional funding, we can make sustainable biofertilizers a reality for healthier soils, more food, and a greener planet. Thank you.